ago, we showed you one of the most incredible things I have ever seen. It's a woman riding a horse with no bridle, no saddle, no reins, no nothing. How does she do it? How does she do it? Look at that. We're about to find out from Mount Gilead, Ohio. Please welcome Stacy Westfall. And he said, Excited. I know you're excited too. I'm so excited. I'm just as excited. Thank you so much for having me. I'm shaking. Oh, here you're you're riding a horse with no I saddle know. and you're shaking but on a this show. Is, this is shaking. Yeah, no, nothing can happen to you here. You're totally oh, fine. Sorry. You're totally safe and fine. Uh, all right, so let's talk about this. First of all, when I saw you yesterday, you said you had no idea it would get this far and be this huge. But I mean, what you do is just incredible. And you go around to shows and do this all the time, right? I, yes, I travel around and I teach people about how to build that kind of a relationship with your horse. And I did the ride in 2006, and then I launched a new website at the beginning of this year. And it started running really slow at the end of January. And I'm thinking, I just built this whole thing. Why is it not working? And I called the web designer, and he said, you had over 200,000 hits in the last 24 hours. And I went, that's high, right? And I ride horses. And so he, so he, he said, that's really high. And we started looking into it. and. Somebody had pulled that ride off my website and put it on YouTube and put it out in an email and it went around the world and it made its way to you and it's just been amazing but it was just a passion that I had to do. Let's talk about Roxy this horse uh, because even if you don't know anything about horseback riding, um, you, how long have you been training Roxy to do this? It took me about three years. I started when she was untrained so she, nobody had ever been on her back and I started her as a two year old. It took me three years. It took me two years to get her trained to the point where I could ride her with no bridle. And that was riding her about an hour to an hour and a half a day, five days a week. So about 800 hours to get her trained to the point with no bridle. Then it took me another year to get to the point where I thought I might be able to stay on doing the maneuvers. Yeah, with no saddle. With I mean, no she's saddle. just literally holding on with her legs and not, I mean, really, you should just be like a cartoon uh, ha hanging upside down with your legs uh, attached there to it. There are moments I've thought that was going to yeah. happen. <laughs> well, I, have you in a show ever come off? I haven't. I haven't. I keep saying, please stop asking. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid. It is incredible that, yeah. that you can do that and hold on and, and go that speed. And so, and you also take, uh, you take untrained horses and see how far you can get in a certain amount of time? Yeah, there was another competition I was in. See the shiny bow buckle? Yes. Uh, the, I was it's in like a platter. You could yeah, serve no, drinks on it that. Is. It is. It's <laughs> belly armor. Uh -huh. And so I was in this coal starting competition called Road to the Horse, and you have three hours to take a horse that's never been touched by a human hand, and at the end of three hours, you're expected to ride it through an obstacle course. And I'm the only woman to ever have competed in it, only woman to ever win it. It was just amazing. I was the only one that's ever been invited. It's wow. just an amazing thing. Oh, that's yeah. incredible. Well, you're amazing. You're, you're very special. Not everyone, n number one, the talent that you have with reading the horses and communicating with them, but just the physical strength that you have. Thank you. And, and also the, the video, when you do see it, you were inspired um, by someone special. And if you want to tell people what happened. <laughs> my, my, if you've ever heard the introduction to it, it the, the announcer breaks up when he's announcing it. And... I had, won, I had won some really huge competitions. I was the first one to ever compete without a bridle. I still had the saddle on, and I tried to come up with something to challenge myself. And so I went to without the saddle, without the bridle. And that was in the year 2006. And I was revving up for this big competition. And I won one of them, and I called my dad. I told him about it. He was all excited. And then just 24 days before my competition, he passed away from a massive stroke. And and I was writing to the song, Live Like You Were Dying. And so it was just amazing how all of a sudden that song just meant so much more to me. And, you know, dedicating it to him and then riding and winning. It's the highest score that's ever been marked in that event. And so, you know, it just means so much to me. Yeah. Well, when you, when you see the video, you can't help but cry. When, and that song just, just slays you anyway. Mm -hmm. So that song... And it, it's just beautiful. And, and uh, Thank you. I know that he was a special guy to you. And, and uh, 
inspired you in many ways. Mm -hmm. So yes. you, you did him proud, I'm sure. Thank He's you. He's very happy with you. When we come back, we're going to show you the tape piece of, of uh, Stacy riding, and then uh, she, she put me on the horse, mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> we took out some extra insurance. And uh, we'll be right back after this.